Hi guys, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and today we've got a super cute quick Christmas project, festive project and this is cute little popcorn Christmas tree and all you're going to need is two colours, I actually have red for some reason, <laughs> uh, some green and some brown and obviously you can use some red if you want to add cute little baubles afterwards. And this is just a DK light worsted weight yarn, so it's a yarn weight of three but you can use any yarn that you like really or just make a bigger or smaller Christmas tree. And with this DK yarn, I'm using a three millimeter crochet hook, um, but you can use 3.5, it's absolutely fine. And you're also gonna need a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well. So let's begin. Okay, so for this Christmas tree, we're going to make two of these triangle shapes. Um, you don't have to make two, you can just make one if you want to, but I thought it'd be nice to crochet them together to get this cute padded tree. And also if you add little baubles after, you can hide the tail ends on the inside. So we're gonna start off with making the triangle in the green. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do, if I can find the end, we're going to do a little slip knot to begin. And we're going to chain three. So chain one, two, and three. And we're going to do a half double crochet, uh, four half double crochet popcorn stitch. So this pattern's in US terminology. So in UK terminology, it's going to be half treble. But to do that, it sounds worse than it is if you're new to the popcorn stitch. But we're gonna yarn over. We're gonna put our hook into that first chain. I'm gonna bring the yarn through, and then we're gonna bring upper loop so it's about a centimeter in height and we're going to do that three more times so yarn over try and keep the the loop a little bit high and then bring the yarn through again then put it up to match the other loops do that twice more and one more time all in that first chain and you should end up with nine loops. And then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and it helps to twist your hook down as you come through all these loops. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all nine loops like so. And that's the beginning of our tree. Then we're going to move on to the row two and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to turn our work and just make sure that the tail end is at the bottom before continuing. We're going to do another four half double crochet popcorn stitch in this big gap here, this first chain here. So we're going to yarn over, go into there, bring the yarn through and again bring up a loop about a centimeter in height. And do that three more times. It's two, three, and four, so you do it four times in total. And again, we're going to yarn over, pull through all nine loops, and we're gonna secure with a chain one. Then we're gonna do that again, but we're gonna do it in this chain three space here. So find a little clump of popcorn stitch in these three chains, and in the gap there, we're gonna put our hook, it's a little bit fiddly at the beginning, bring the yarn through, and again, bring up a loop, and do that three more times as well. One, two, and three, and four in total. And again, yarn over, pull through all nine loops. Okay, that's our second row done. Moving on to the next row, we start off with a chain three. One, two, and three. Turn your work and do the popcorn stitch in this first chain here. So yarn over, go into there, bring the yarn through, bring up a loop. Do that three more times. One, two, and three. Then yarn over, pull through all the loops, secure with a chain one. And this time we're going to do one in the middle in this chain one space. So we're gonna yarn over, go into that big gap in that, under that chain one space. And then same thing again, bring the yarn through, bring up a loop, do that three more times. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all the loops, secure with a chain one. Then the one on the end, 
again, like the previous row, goes in that chain three space. You might just want to find it, find that gap, and yarn over, put your hook into there as neatly as you can. Make sure not to grab any popcorn stitch. Again, bring up a loop, do that three more times. One, two, and three. Then yarn over, pull through all loops. Okay, we don't secure with a chain one because we start the next row with a chain three. So our next row, again, the beginning we start with a chain three. So one, two, three, turn your work. Do our first popcorn stitch in this first chain here in this gap. Let's bring the yarn through, bring up a loop, do it three more times. One, two, and three. Pull through all loops. Secure with a chain one, so chain one in between. So the next one, popcorn stitch goes in the chain one space, so the previous chain one. Let's put a hook into there, bring the yarn through, bring up a loop, do that three more times. One, two, three, pull through all the loops, chain one. Next one in the next chain one space. Bring the yarn through, bring up a loop. One, do that three more times. One, two, and three. Pull through all loops, chain one in between. And then the last one goes in the chain three space. So again, find that gap between the popcorn stitch and the chain three space. Hook in there, bring up a loop, do that three more times. One, two, and one more time, three. Pull through all the loops and pause there. So how many more? We've got one more row to do. So we end up with five popcorn stitches on the last row. So we chain three to begin. One, two, three, turn your work. First four half double crochet popcorn stitch goes in this first chain here. Bring up a loop, do that three more times. One, two, and three. Pull through all the loops, chain one. Next popcorn stitch goes in the chain one space here. Bring up a loop, three more times. One, two, three. Pull through all nine loops and Chain one, next one in the next chain one space in the middle, pull up a loop three more times. Pull through all the loops, chain one. Next chain one space, same thing again, pull up a loop three more times. One, two, three. Chain one, and the last one goes in the chain three space, between the chain three space and the popcorn stitch. Put your hook in there, bring the yarn through, bring up a loop, do that three more times. One, two, and three, pull through all the loops. And we're just gonna secure that with just the chain one, so that's the only time we just do the one chain at the end. And there we go, there is our second triangle. So just repeat that so you get two of these little cute green triangles. And now we're going to crochet them together. So holding on to keeping your yarn active, <laughs> we're going to put these together. There's no right or wrong side, so we're just gonna put the other one on top. And we're just going to, neatly as we can, just sink, sort of slip stitch these together. So coming over to the top one, as neatly as you can. Sort of trying to find a makeshift stitch. <laughs> we're just going to bring that through better than I just did. So let's try that again. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Bring the yarn through 
and we could either do a single crochet or a uh, slip stitch so I'm just going to do a little slip stitch just bring that through the loop and we're just going to move that across so I'm going to keep it quite loose and I'm going to go straight up to this gap in the middle here and try and make it the same with the opposite side so it's fairly even and keeping a nice loose slip stitch so it's not tight we're going to move up to there and I'm going to do that for the next one as well so we're going to jump this whole popcorn stitch and go in the chain three space here match it up with this side and keeping your if you keep your slip stitches loose it won't make it tight and just do that all the way up to the top Keeping that loose. Moving up to the next one. Again, making sure to keep that nice loose slip stitch like that. Then at the top, we should have our, both our tail ends at the top. We can use those for tying if we want to. We're just going to work into the top chains slip stitch into there and then we're going to slip stitch down at this side here so jumping this popcorn stitch let's go in between keep your tail ends out of the way and making sure to match up with the right side so it's about here <laughs> keeping it nice and loose and the next one, jumping the popcorn stitch, putting your hook in between. Sometimes you'll have like a loose, uh, loose, a single piece of yarn, or you might have a chain three, the chain threes to work under. Keeping that nice and loose. Jumping the next popcorn stitch. And then the next one. might wish to sew them together it's entirely up to you and then coming down to this chain here match it up with chain on this side slip stitch in to there so we've joined those together so we've got like a little pocket tree here and you can stuff it if you want to but I've just left it uh, just padded we want to do is we just want to slip stitch in the next chain here the next two chains so making sure to line up your trees correctly we're going to do a little slip stitch in the next chain and joining as you go and in the next one as well there we go And that one is bringing through too much, too much yarn. I'll do that one again. Oh, it's all going wrong today. Let's try that second one again. I like to leave my mistakes in my videos. <laughs> there we go, the second one. So you should then have four, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches left. We're going to slip stitch into the next two, uh, chains or stitches but what we're going to do we're actually going to drop the green yarn and we're going to bring up the brown yarn whatever color you want to do the base you might want to do a red base or a brown I'm going with a traditional tree base so we're going to bring the brown through instead and slip stitch with that I'm going to secure that with a chain one and then we're going to go back into the same two stitches and we're going to do a single crochet so in a UK terminology that's a double crochet we're going to do a single crochet join in the next three stitches as well it's going to go into the next stitch and then match it up with the other side so you're joining do a single crochet and and in the next stitch joining as you go and in the next stitch as well oops okay so you, the brown appears 
in four stitches. And once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're just going to turn our work. We're not going to do a chain one in between. We're just going to turn our work straight away. And we're going to do one single crochet in each chain, uh, in each stitch across. So we do a single crochet in the first stitch and in the next stitch and in the next stitch and in the next stitch. Okay, and that's the base of our tree. It's got this cute little base. So we're going to cut the brown yarn. Just pull that loop through. And we do have a little hole left. You can obviously sew that up if you want to with some of these tail ends. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Or you can just leave it as is. It's just a gift tag. <laughs> so we're going to use these as gift tags or as Christmas tree decorations. But we can cut the... Uh, the green yarn. I think I'll sew, sew the remaining gap up with this tail end, I think. So I'm going to neaten up my tail ends and then I will come back and uh, show you the finished tree. And there we go. I've just tied, neaten up my tail ends and I sewed up the remaining gap there with a tail end. And the two beginning tail ends we have here, what we can then do is use these. We can just tie them at the top and use them as something to attach to the Christmas tree or gift wrapping or just a hanging decoration. Let's try and do that as neat as we can. <laughs> and there we go, there is our cute little Christmas tree decoration. And you can add little baubles if you want to. Maybe I should add a little bauble on camera for you. What we can do for a bauble is take a short length of coloured yarn, maybe red yarn, blue yarn, whatever colour you like, maybe even some silver and gold sparkly yarn. We're going to tie some knots in the middle, so on top of each other, so that's one knot, and then try and get the next one on top of that one to create a bigger knot. Do that one more time. So it's the same way I make eyes for some of my amigurumi projects. And then we're going to just sew this into our little tree. And it's probably a good idea to actually go through a popcorn stitch because it might disappear if the gap's too big. So we're going to sew our tail ends and then the little knot should catch on the outside. And then sew the other tail end through. There we go, and a little knot should catch on the outside and then you can just uh, hide your tail ends and uh, sew those in, create some more little knot baubles and there's a little festive Christmas tree. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you managed to follow along and I hope you'll uh, share some of your little cute Christmas tree decorations or tags over on my Instagram at Happy Bow Crochet and I'll see you soon for some more Christmassy crochet crafting fun. Thanks for watching guys, bye!